Sharp Task is a new tool developed by the solutions team at Central Innovation. Imagine having your own personal SolidWorks assistant. Sharp Tasks' powerful job management capabilities allow users to automate all of those tedious, time-consuming tasks you perform in SolidWorks on a regular basis. Sharp Tasks can be downloaded from our website, which will be provided to you. Simply click, download and run and within a couple of minutes it's up and running. Sharp Task will monitor each job that runs, automatically restarting SOLIDWORKS if required and skipping files that cannot be processed correctly. So no more situations where you schedule a uh, batch or job as you leave the office at night only to return the next morning and find that a small problem or file halted the entire process altogether. With Sharp Task, it's possible to process hundreds or even thousands of files in a single job. You can use your own custom scripts or macros within Sharp Task or choose from our continually updated online library. We've also provided a feedback link, so if you do have any ideas for a new task or script, please let us know, and if it appeals to our user base, we'll develop it and add it to our library. Let's take a quick look now at the interface of Sharp Task and using it um, on some files. So the interface is clean and easy to understand. Up the top we have the version of SOLIDWORKS you wish to use to process these jobs. It will automatically detect all of the versions of SOLIDWORKS installed on your machine. Some simple settings as to uh, the restarting or to skip files every so uh, after a certain amount of uh, time. And you can also choose to run SOLIDWORKS in background mode, uh, which will be faster, um, no add-ins are loaded, and any messages are suppressed as well. And to preserve the security of your files, you can choose to open them read-only. And also, if you have lots of configurations in your parts or assemblies, choose to run the macro for each configuration uh, as well. Okay. So let's add some uh, files that we want to process. We can simply drag and drop or click the plus icon to, to browse. I'll just drag and drop a folder that I have on my desktop. We can filter the extensions of files that we want to process simply by adding them here in the list. So at the moment I would process parts, assemblies and drawings. And then we have the option to add our macros, scripts, or browse our library. So we, again, we can just simply browse for any um, uh, Visual Studio macros, VBA macros, uh, a sharp task script file if you've created one, um, or any other macro or routine uh, script files. Or we have an online library which is continually updated. There are a number of scripts and macros in there at this stage, as you can see. Each come with their descriptions and on how to use them, and they can be simply added as well. Let me just pick one of them. So we can see here this particular macro allows you to change the bend radius and or the K factor in your sheet metal parts. Um, and and uh, there are a number of operations, so you can simply add to the task scope. You can see that it's added there. and we can see when we click there are arguments. If you want to learn more about how to add arguments to appear here in Sharp Task to your macro, just going back to the website, we have a simple tutorial that you can access on how to add arguments to your uh, macro scripts as well. Okay, and uh, these arguments, you can see that they come with tooltips, so you know exactly what to do there as well. So thicknesses in this particular case, uh, what sheet metal thicknesses do I want to, to process? What radius do I want to add or subtract or replace? Uh, do I want to add a coefficient? So maybe do I want to just multiply the, uh, the radius by 1.5? And what operation I want to um, carry out and if I want to change the K factor. So I'll leave the thicknesses empty to run it on all. Uh, the radius will just add uh, one millimeter and so for operation we'll just type in plus there. That's all we'll do. And simply run the job so you'll see SOLIDWORKS being uh, open there.
and what it tells you is that all of the files succeeded and one has a particular warning and you can see it's saying it um, the radius was already overridden and not using the the default radius in this particular part as well so the the parts are maintained and then we could of course open them up in SOLIDWORKS to to see the result so sharp task is a very useful tool to carry out uh, bulk jobs that you want on, on your SOLIDWORKS files and you can use your own macros or scripts or simply use the ones from our uh, online library. If you have any questions or would you like to send feedback we have a feedback form here which will simply um, send an email to sharp.task.ci at gmail.com please feel free to send us any feedback or if you have any questions as well. Thank you.